Designers sometimes attempt to take into account human factors by balancing the influence of humans' bodies, cognitive abilities, mental processes, and social behaviors when they create systems, processes, equipment, or environments. However, they don't always hit the mark. In our daily lives, we can find many designs that can lead to error. Take a look at this door. What do you think most people do when they get to that door? Pull. But why? Well, probably because when you were a child, you were taught to pull a handle. So, that instinct to pull on a handle is well ingrained and frequently wins. Rules can also be written in a way that encourages errors. Sometimes rules aren't convenient and tend to be confusing. Sometimes they're not thought out completely. And, well, humans take shortcuts. For example, a rule of etiquette is to walk on the sidewalk rather than on the grass. However, many people will walk across grass or even trample through landscaping if it gets them to where they want to go more easily and effectively than walking on the sidewalk. Designers could prevent this by laying the sidewalk so that it's a more direct path to where people want to go, or place a barrier where pedestrians shouldn't walk. And if you take a look around your house, you may find examples of designs that didn't consider human factors. If you look at this stove, it's difficult to determine which knob controls which burner. You'll have to guess your way through or eventually memorize the order. But the designers of this stove took that fault into account by positioning the knobs in the same order as the burners. Now, it's easy to determine which knob controls which burner, a much more user-friendly approach. Human factors professionals within the FAA solicit input from the field regarding those design flaws that controllers have simply accepted so that we can work with manufacturers to improve them. But if human factors professionals don't know what's wrong with the designs, manufacturers will replicate the same mistakes in new systems. When we receive feedback from controllers on the equipment designs that are less than ideal, we can include them as improvements for future systems or software. So you may not realize it now, but your job may be easier with some improvements. What can be changed in your work environment so that your performance is at its best?